So right now we're driving through the southern part of Georgia and we've been noticing quite a few trees down from the hurricane that came through, what, like a few months ago? So it's quite interesting. Well guys, we made it to our campground in Georgia. I have a beautiful pond, a beautiful interstate, and that's about it for now. Good morning guys. It has been about three weeks, a little over three weeks since our last hiking adventure. So although this won't be a very long hike, we want to get out there and explore a little bit around Georgia. So we'll take you along with us. So where are we going to today, Deanna? Grand Bay Wildlife Refuge in Georgia. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay. Well, we made it, Deanna. You excited? We did. Let's go. Right okay. Over right over there? <laughs> Let's go check out this log first. I want to see what this log is all about. The old cypress log. I guess they just wanted to show what a cypress log looked like. You gonna read all that? I don't think I'm gonna read all that. And this is why the puppy did not come with us. There are no dogs along this boardwalk. Plus we don't want a gator snapping at Blaze and taking him off into the water or a snake wrapping its tentacles around our throats. <laughs> it might seem a little extreme. This looks pretty sweet though. Definitely right on top of this water. And look at us wearing our short sleeve. Well, me wearing my short sleeve. <laughs> it's really nice out here today. It's December, beginning of December. What's the temperature today? It's like 65 degrees. Yeah, it is nice compared to where we were. <laughs> Take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footsteps. Think video counts? Kind of neat being surrounded by this bog and trees encapsulated along this boardwalk. Did you happen to say something? Guess not. Black gum cypress swamp, mature swamp forest dominated by black gum and cypress trees. So nice and quiet through here. Not really sure how long of a hike this is. I'm guessing probably quarter mile, half mile. There's a little bit more we want to do today, but I'll tell you more about that in a bit. Pond cypress, one of the largest pond cypress trees on the boardwalk, sprouted in 1925. Is that this guy? Yeah, it is this guy. Cypress tree sprouted around 1925. Actually not very big. I guess it's big for a cypress tree. So I don't know how well this comes across on the screen, but um, all the trees have really thick trunks right at water level and then they thin out. I don't know why that is, but it's pretty neat. And this area is covered with Spanish moss. It's really neat. I feel all you folks from Georgia are like, oh, that's just normal. But for us Northerners, <laughs> stuff we just haven't seen before. Wow, that's just gorgeous. Apparently in the 1930s, or maybe it still does, this area actually dries out and they used to have cows graze this area. And that right there is pretty much the reason I wanted to come here. Not the only reason, but be really cool to get a 
kind of an aerial shot since we still don't own a drone yet. All right, we're not sure how big this tower is, how tall it is. But time to climb it, get some exercise, and show you the awesome views from the top. Time to time lapse this thing, see how, see how fast we can go. Okay, that was really cool. <laughs> a very unique landscape. I know I keep saying that, but just haven't seen stuff like this before. Now we gotta go hop through this gate and fall into the water. Eaten by gators. You get eaten by gators. So how do you like it? It's really neat. I mean, like I said already, we haven't seen anything like it before, so it's a very cool, unique experience, and it's just so peaceful. <laughs> There's like no noise except for nature and birds, and it's awesome. Yeah, definitely can't complain. Seems like this is a perfect little hike to get us back in the in the adventurous spirit, I guess you could say. Three weeks without hiking is a lot, so we need to get ourselves back in shape here, slowly but surely. So for those of you that are still around watching this video, thank you for watching. <laughs> and you're probably a little bit more interested than maybe some of the other folks that watch. But we are actually thinking about upgrading our travel trailer to a fifth wheel. So the next couple videos are probably going to be some layout tours of some of the fifth wheels that we're interested in. Um, we're going to be starting to look at ones that are half ton towable, although we do have a three quarter ton truck that can tow a little bit more. We want to keep it on the lighter side because we have the gas engine, not the diesel engine, and we don't really want to drive down the road getting two miles per gallon. So <laughs> trying to find something that's reasonable towing for our, our three quarter ton truck F-250 and Got to watch out for this guy. <laughs> but yeah, I'll have to show you some of the other upgrades we made to Betty too in order to prepare for this transition period. But until those videos, we will see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little venture around Grand Bay Wildlife Refuge thing <laughs> here near Valdosta, Valdos? Valdosta. Valdosta, Georgia. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos like it. You can also check us out at dnsadventures.com. And as always, adventure on.